In the bowl of our stand mixer, we're gonna add one stick, which is eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm gonna add my paddle attachment. You don't wanna do this with a whisk head. Paddle attachment is the best way to go. I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of salt. I'd say maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon. You could definitely use salted butter. I just have unsalted. So we're adding a little bit of salt and we can turn it on and we're gonna let this cream. We wanna get the yellowness out of the butter. Three minutes later, this is what it looks like. This is what it looked like when the butter went in initially. This is what it looks like after a couple of minutes. Of course, the longer you let it go, the whiter it's gonna get as you start to incorporate all of that air. But look at the difference just three minutes makes. This stage, I like to add about a tablespoon of vanilla. Of course, you can use a clear vanilla, but that's imitation vanilla. So the flavor is gonna be a bit different, but of course this is gonna make it darker and it's okay. You're gonna wanna give it a scrape on the sides just to make sure everything gets incorporated, which it eventually will. I like to smooth it out. Then you're good to add your cream cheese. I have an eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, my butter was at room temperature because I don't wanna break my mixer when it's trying to incorporate, but your cream cheese, it is perfectly fine if it is not room temperature. Mine came straight from the fridge and it's gonna work. I'm gonna add the whole block in there. We can turn it on. We're gonna let this all cream together. You don't want any lumps in this. If your cream cheese is room temperature, then you're gonna get a lot less lumps, but it's okay because the mixer is going to do all of the work for us. I'm gonna let this go, let's say five minutes. Five minutes later, it looks super nice and fluffy. Everything is really, really well combined. It looks like frosting. Now we have to add our powdered sugar. Once you start to add your powdered sugar is when you're gonna start to lose stability of it because you're going to start adding the sugar and it's gonna pull out all the moisture from the cream cheese and it's gonna look very thin. But do not worry, I like to let this set up in the refrigerator. So once I make it, unless it's going in a filling for something, cake, cookies, however, I like to let this sit in the refrigerator and I like to use it straight from the refrigerator, maybe put it on the counter about five minutes, but straight from the refrigerator is best because you will get the most crisp piping and it just, not only does it taste so good, it even looks beautiful. I'm gonna add our powdered sugar. I'm gonna start with a cup. Of course, I will let you guys know in the end how much we end up using. Just like any of my recipes, whenever it comes down to adding sugar to frostings, do that as your personal preference. If you like frosting to be more sweet, add more sugar. If you don't like it as sweet, don't add as much. Halfway through the mixing process, I like to scrape down the sides just to make sure that I'm incorporating all that sugar before I go and add more. Now, as you can see, it's definitely loose. It holds its shape a little bit, but it's still very loose. That's because everything is still very fresh and room temperature like. I like to let this chill in the fridge and then you're golden with it. I'm gonna add another cup of sugar. So now we're at two cups total. You still want that tang, but you don't want it to be too tangy and not sweet enough. Two cups later, this is what we are looking like. Everything is just so beautiful. There's no lumps in here. Super, super smooth. And this is your frosting all done. Now, can you frost cupcakes with this? Yes. Can you frost a cake with this? Yes. But when you frost a cake with this, it's not going to be perfectly beautifully smooth because as you can see, it is a loose in shape frosting. This isn't going to hold layers together very well. As far as a business wise, if you're using this for at home, this will be perfectly fine, but it's not gonna frost as beautiful as an American buttercream, which is just butter and powdered sugar. But this is a true real cream cheese frosting that is just delicious. 